everyone, and welcome to another snack-sized play from the Studio Theater Tierra del Sol. Today, we are proud to present Effie by T.J. Young. I'm Nathaniel Nimi. I'm the director of today's piece, and I want to introduce our cast. Uh, Bobby Bell is with us. How you doing, Bobby? I'm doing great. I'm playing the dad, Michael. I'm a theater artist working out of Orlando. Awesome. And Ben is with us. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'll be playing Effie slash Devin today. And um, just like Bobby, I'm also a theater maker out of Orlando. Fantastic. Thank you both so much for being with us. And I want to give a shout out to everyone working behind the scenes to put these together. Um, please enjoy at home. Just know there is some language in this piece. So if you have little ones nearby, it may not be appropriate for them. Um, other than that, sit back, grab a little snack, take a break from what you're working on, and enjoy Effie by T.J. Young. Oh, fucking idiot. God. This isn't you, Effie. Come on. This is not how Effie Besant carries herself. Don't take it out on the wig. Can't afford to replace it right now. Can't afford to replace anything right now. Pathetic. Damn it. I swear that better not be you, Kurt. I have never had someone fuck up a set so badly in my life. Oh my God, the fucking zipper. You press play. How hard is it to fucking press play and then not touch the goddamn thing after that? Don't use the Lord's name like that, son. Dad. Son. No offense, but the show is out there. Although I never really took you for the drag type. I'm not. <clears throat> is there somewhere else we can talk? I only have so long before I have to get back out there. Again? Yes, again. Well, at least you aren't as painted as those other men. Women? Right. If you best him, huh? <laughs> I'll admit, I think the pun is lost on most of the crowd, but I applaud you for trying. Who let you back here? I just told them I was looking for it. Who? What does it matter? Who, who was I... it? Can't we just talk? Whoever it was, just send them in on your way out. I obviously have someone that needs to be reminded of their job. Just listen to me, okay? There is not a damn thing that you have to say that I want to hear. I had to see you. That's what phones are for. You call, we plan, I see you. I don't have your number. Huh, ain't that something. Wish I could help you, Pops. Yeah, I mean, I... Well, it's I F here, okay? And I wouldn't have had to change my number if you hadn't given it to those psychos. They aren't psychos. <laughs> That's right. I'm the crazy one because you wanted to send me to conversion therapy. Pray the gay away. It was for your best interest. Bullshit. Watch your mouth. Bullshit, Dad. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I didn't come here to fight with you, okay? No, you just came here to watch your dressed up little boy lip sync because that sounded like a fun Saturday night to you? <sighs> Stubborn. What is this? What's it look like? I don't need your money. From what I saw of your little act, I'd say otherwise. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. That little shit messed up my set. Regardless, Jasmine shouldn't suffer because you can't seem to pull in money. Does she even know what you do? What does it matter to you? I think it's perfectly reasonable for me to care about my granddaughter. Who you have never seen. Whose fault is that? You really want me to answer that question? Just because I don't approve of your husband doesn't mean I get denied the right to see my grandchild. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what it means. She deserves grandparents. 
I'm extending an olive branch. I miss you. Your mother misses you. Parkinson's isn't getting any better. I'd like to see you, you know, and Jasmine, before it gets too bad. What about Leo? He's as much family as you two are. Why can't, well, why can't you just go see her without it? Because she didn't stop you from trying to send me away. She's your mother. The least you can do is show some kind of sympathy. Have we really raised someone so selfish? With Leo's family, there isn't any shame. Jasmine gets to see her fathers together. That's the kind of environment we want her in, not one where one of her dads has to wait in the car. Do Leo's folks know you're going to lose your house? How did you know that? Your sister still talks to us, you know. A good old Deacon Daddy is still good enough for a phone call every now and then. We don't... We don't need your help, okay? Cut the crap, okay? You can't adopt the kid and then bring her into a situation so unstable. Unstable? Yeah! Uh, like this is, is time to bring your kid to work material. It's time you wised up, Devin. That money will float you for a bit, and you can start looking for a real job. Something respectable and... Uh, Normal? Well, well, frankly, yes. Something that doesn't stir up so much talk. <laughs> There's the rub. Your old church buddy is giving you a hard time about your son that plays dress up? This isn't what I came to. Did you just come here to throw your money around and judge me? Contrary to what you might think, I'm not Tinkerbell, and I don't need your applause or your acceptance or your money to keep on living. You sure act like you do. Holding a grudge because I don't agree with the point? It's childish, no? You, you can't see that I'm doing the best I can. Best you can, I've had it as. Well, why is it that you get to stand there so dignified and I get attacked for it, I think? Because what you think is wrong. To you? And millions of other people. Those other people won't miss you in heaven. <laughs> Will they? Seriously. Tell me you don't love Jasmine. What? Do you love that little girl? More than anything. But what if I told you she could be taken away from you? Forever. What's your point? When I first held you, I loved you more than anything else. I, I, I told myself that I wasn't going to let anything keep you from me. That we'd be together forever. And to me, forever includes whatever is after all this is gone. So when you come to me and tell me, you tell me that you have feelings of desire that take you away from that forever, what am I supposed to do? It's just dogma. It's my life's, it's everything to me. It used to mean something to you too. Well, it doesn't anymore, okay? I can't believe in something that doesn't accept me. And if you love me so much, then how can you? Just because we disagree doesn't mean I don't love you. I, I'm here, aren't I? I came to see your show and to see you. Does, doesn't that count for something? It's gonna take more than that. Son, none of this is easy for us. For me. And I get it. You aren't who I wanted you to grow up to be. You aren't gonna change who you are. At least not for me or for your mother. But you have to start thinking about your little girl. Your mother and I are willing to consider having Leo over a bit hey, But you have to give us something. So, some time is all we ask. It's all I ask. I still love you. And I still want to get to know my grandfather. What about Leo? You want to get to know him? Because we tried. You didn't want to meet us halfway. I wanted you there when we picked her up. We wanted you at her first birthday with us and her first dance recital. If I, if you don't think that I would have loved for you to show her that there are two more people in this world that care about her, then you don't know me. And you come here to me with this seemingly defeated plea 
asking me to allow you into one of the most important parts of my life while ignoring another? You want in, but only halfway. Would it be such a bad thing if I was? Get out. Son. Please, just get out. You, you know I love you, right? I love him. Look, I promised your mother I wouldn't leave here until I got some sort of answer from her. How does no sound? It's not the answer we want. Well, it is the only one that I am willing to give. Now, you can leave or you can stand there, but I have another song to do in 15 minutes and I have to get ready. Seeing as you don't exactly like what you see now, I would suggest leaving. I'm not going anywhere. If I don't get forever with you, I may have the time I do get. All wonderful work. Thank you both so much for being with us today. It's so appreciated. Um, thank you for joining us for Effie. Uh, be sure to check out our social media, our Facebook page for all of our upcoming snack-sized plays and stage play readings. Um, next up is What Lies Underneath. That will be next Friday, so you want to check that one out. I hope that everybody out there is safe and healthy, um, and we're sending you lots of love from the Studio Theater, Tierra Del Sol. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.